Hey Ron, this is Paul Holstein coming to you from Asheville, North Carolina. And I want to give you a tour of my workshop. Today, we get another tour of a smart wood shop. Paul Holston of Asheville, North Carolina, gives us a look at his shop, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's interesting because the shop is 800 square feet and it's the garage in his apartment. And he also has a very cool storage system. If you want to get a set of plants to build a smart wood shop for yourself, a smart station, smart bench, or any of the accessories that work with the system, like the smart cart, the router tables, or the cradle, like this one that I just built that holds up the new SawStop CTS, there's a link in the description of this video down below. It is the garage of my apartment that I stay in and it is 800 square feet total, but as you can see, it's shared with a car, and the rest of it is devoted to uh, storage and also to woodworking. Here is my saw stop, which I love, and I made a cross-cut sled for it right here. I've not figured out a good place to put it yet, but I will. Then over here, I've got my Incra router table and precision routing system. I really love this. It's very, very good for making precision uh, box cuts and uh, box joints. It's fantastic. Here I keep some of my tools on the wall. All of the walls here are plywood, and so I can hang anything I need to. I've got some uh, hardwood storage up here. And then the pride of my workshop is this lever rack system, which I absolutely love. It keeps everything organized. I've got all labels on everything. And I could show you how this system works. It's on rails and everything slides along the top rail instead of the bottom. So the bottom may not be even, doesn't matter with this system. That lighting in it where I keep all my rulers and squares. And then over here, I've got some of my tools, but I've got everything labeled. So measuring and marking is over here, cutting and power tools here, glue and adhesives over here. And we can see some of my clamps as well. Fasteners, joining and fastening is right here along with heat tools. And then we have paint finishes over here, where I keep my masks, oils, all these materials. One of the great things about this lever rack system, you close it up and have very little dust that goes in there because you know how a shop gets. Then I've got my mobile shop with some of my assembly tools. Part of this uh, workshop is also for assembling. I get a lot of assembly projects with furniture or with kids' toys and whatnot. So I like to assemble things here. Okay, Some cabinets here that I reused from an old place I went ahead and brought over here. Then I got some uh, pegboard system right here. One of the cool things about this garage is it's air conditioned, which I don't use very often. It's not on now, but in the middle of summer, that's a fantastic thing to have the AC. And in the middle of winter, it's great to have the heat, a heat pump. Uh, one thing I didn't show over here is the planer that I've got, my vacuums, sharpening systems, sanding, and one of my pride and joys, the sink. I know it sounds like a small thing, but a sink is a fantastic in a workshop. If nothing else, you can wash your hands at the end, but it's pretty good for washing tools or anything needs to be rinsed off. Over here, I just made this. This is my wood storage. Since I have over eight feet here, I've got about eight and a half, nine feet. I went ahead and did a vertical storage on my lumber and my sheet goods rather than doing horizontal. It takes up a whole lot less room. I designed this myself put it together in a couple days, and it is absolutely fantastic. Very useful um, for my sheet goods. Over here, I've got my drill press, which works out perfectly. I'm gonna put that on wheels soon so I can wheel it around. And then here is storage with the uh, solar and some more storage over here. Here, I've got a project I'm working on. I'm almost done. Just gotta get the drawers in them and drawer faces and I'll be done. That's my workshop. It's very handy, very practical, and I love it. And I just want to show you, oh, by the way, I don't know if you recognize this. It's a very handy work, uh, work table that I have, workbench. It's called a POC workbench, love it. If you enjoyed Paul's Smart Woodshop tour, then be sure to give his video a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions for Paul, put them in the comments down below. If you want to have your Smart Woodshop featured here on the Smart Woodshop channel, then just grab your smartphone Hold it horizontal, put it in 4K if possible, and walk around and tell us the story. Tell us about your shop, different features, what you like about it, what you do with it, 
you can do two, three, four, five different videos and just Dropbox them all to me. I'll put an email address in the description below to Dropbox me. I'll put them together, clean them up and make a nice video that we can share here with the Smart Woodshop family. Mahalo for dropping into my Smart Woodshop. Have a great day.